What's going on guys? Thrash back here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video where today it is time for a team update here in NHL 22. I've got my pay to win team here. All three team of the seasons have come out. I've absolutely stacked my squad. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm working with at the moment. And then I'm going to show you a couple of the team of the season choice packs I opened. I believe they're both on my free to play account, but I could be wrong on that. Please don't quote me. Um, but I have two of them saved up here that I'm going to go ahead and show you as well. Now, before I actually show you the team, please, for the love of God, don't think that I actually believe in pay to win or think that I'm good at the game. Just because I have an insane team doesn't mean I'm good and doesn't mean I win a lot of games because I don't. I'm a fairly average player at the game, but I love having a stack squad. It just makes everything so much more appealing. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the team. It's definitely been upgraded quite a bit. On my first line, team of the season, 98 overall, Nathan McKinnon. I got him in one of the choice packs, the team of the season choice packs. Obviously super stoked to have him. And I actually haven't really had the opportunity to use Nathan McKinnon on my main team throughout the year. On my free-to-play squad, I do have that team of the week that came out. I think it's a 94 overall I pulled. So I've been able to use him all year, or for at least as long as it's been out. I think I've had him for a couple months now. So 94 McKinnon there, but 98 McKinnon on my main squad, finally. After not being able to get his X-Factor all year, I finally got a Nathan McKinnon. My first line center is 99 overall Evo Matt Duchesne. 99 legitimately everything. I've played over 600 games with this card, one of the best cards I've ever used in Hockey Ultimate Team. And right next to him, 99 overall Vladimir Tarasenko Evo card. 99 absolutely everything except for durability and faceoffs. Another disgusting card that I can't wait to keep trying to use in Champs. Now, obviously, if you guys don't know what's happening, I'm actually not going to be using my main team as much as I used to as I'm transitioning into an all Red Wings build. Um, I've already started that. It's looking okay, but I'm waiting for a few more cards to come out and to be able to obtain some more cards. So I will be using this team for a little bit while longer. And Vladimir Cherisenko on the first line is gross. On the second line, we've got team of the season, 97 overall, Archemi Panarin. Uh, I, I, I like Panarin. I've, I've used them all year, I think, in uh, different scenarios, whether it's Hut Warriors, my main team, my free-to-play team. Panarin's always been active, and he's got a really good card this year. 97 overall, give him a little bit. He'll be 99 soon enough. Second line center is, of course, the 98 team builder, Keith Primo. Former Detroit Red Wing, I do get to use this card on my All Wings build. I actually have a signed jersey from him given to me by Brian, my main mod, and one of my groomsmen and my wedding. Um, he gave me a signed Keith Primo jersey inscribed with his first ever NHL goal, which is super cool. So Keith Primo, definitely going to use him the rest of the year. And then we have Miko Rantanen at 98 overall, Team of the Season Edition. Another really good card. I had his team of the year from, well, obviously since January, and I was able to trade him in to get the ranted in. Third line, we've got 97 overall. Team of the season, Alexander Ovechkin, who will be 99 everything very soon. Um, you have to think. He's got 99 everything in the shot and hands and checking categories up for fighting. This is a really, really good card as well. I mean, can you really have a card that's 97 overall and be like, this is a bad card? Probably not. But Alex Ovechkin, obviously one of the best players in the game. One of the best players in the world. Love to have him on my team. My third line center is 96 overall. Team of the season, Leon Dreisaitl. Another amazing card. 99 everything across the board pretty much. And as he continues playing, you know, he's only going to go up. So it'll be another 99 by the end of the year for sure. Maybe he's skating the only real weak spot. Let's be real. He is a slow guy. But regardless, it's going to be a great card. And on the wing... 97 overall Master Taylor Hall, the former Windsor Spitfire, one of my favorite players of all time here in Windsor. Of course, I had to have him on the squad, and he's got another disgusting card. Pretty much 99 everything. I don't see a common theme here with 99s. On my fourth line, we've got 96 overall Master Patrick Laine. This card's been very good for me. I've only played 86 games with him. He has over 70 points. He's not playing a ton of minutes, obviously, especially now with McKinnon and Panarin, and Ovi, and everyone else getting added to the team. But he's really good. This is a really good pick by Nasher to make. So, Patrick Line 8, 96 overall, great card. In the center position, my captain, of course, Dylan Larkin, had to have him on the squad. Uh, really good card. Obviously, I hope that he does get a future release, which is higher overall than 95. But at 95 overall, he's still a phenomenal card. One of my favorite cards I've used all year. And on the wing, team of the season, 96 overall, Jonathan Huberdeau who should hit 99 fairly soon as well. So, a really good forward core, right? Like, my forwards are pretty gross. And soon, 
I'll have 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, like a lot of 99s. So it's going to be really good. I don't need to change anything here. My team's actually going to get better as the year goes on. Now onto the defense where things get, well, really good and also kind of interesting. My first line left defenseman team of the year, Victor Hedman at 98 overall, of course. Look at this card. Now, I am the first one to admit to say that I did not like Victor Hedman when he first came out. He was too slow for me. Now that he's caught up and now this acceleration and speed is where it should be, this card is probably the best card in the game, hands down. His defensive partner is team of the season, Adam Fox, at 97 overall. Another disgusting card. Um, I do prefer smaller players, which is probably one of the reasons why I didn't like Victor Hedman as much. I do have Adam Fox. He's 5'11", and he's awesome. Now for line two. 96 overall, Danny DeKaiser. Now, of course, guys, I could have had other players here. I could. In fact, I have other players to put in here. But Danny DeKaiser has been one of my favorite cards all year, and he will be 99 in a few months. I will still be playing. I'm going to play this game all year like I always do. And 99 Danny DeKaiser is a disgusting card. Now, of course, I am a Wings fan, and my Wings bias is showing. I'm actually not a huge Danny DeKaiser fan, but his card is gross. And of course, I had to put him with team of the season, Moritz Sider. This guy, if he doesn't get at least a 97 in the next couple months, I'll be pretty disappointed. He's having a phenomenal year, and I can only see him getting better. This card at 92 is really good. When this card gets to, say, 95, it's going to be one of the best defensive cards in the game. He's 6'4". He's going to have great skating. And, I mean, he's a wing. Again, my wings bias is showing. But Moritz Sider... Um, maybe the colder favorite at the moment could have a 99 by the end of the year. My third line D pair, we've got team of the season, Roman Yossi at 96. Of course, likely will be at 99 by the end of the year. Let's be real, it's Roman Yossi. And last but not least, team of the season, Kale McCarr at 95 overall. So my decor, pretty disgusting. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, why are you using Danny DeKaiser? Don't use, you know what? DeKaiser's card has been phenomenal for me, and I'm going to use him the rest of the year. Cider, I like Cider. I don't have Raymond on the team right now. Let me have Cider, okay? Now, in net, my, my goaltending's actually taken quite a hit because I traded in my team of the season, Anderson, who, who I had originally here. Um, I traded him in to do a choice pack. It did not work out in my favor, unfortunately, but I did end up getting Jonathan Huberto out of it. So, whatever. I, I tried for Connor McDavid. I didn't get him, but I got Huberto. But we have uh, Jack Campbell here. Former Wins of Spitfire, of course. 89 overall. I don't feel the need to upgrade him, as you can see here. Actually, if you take a look at his stats in 3, 2, 1. He's been really good for me. He's 39 and 5, 1.81 goals against, and an 84-42 save percentage. I'm very happy with that. So, Jack Campbell will stay, and of course, we have Sebastian Cosa as my backup. He's the best goalie I have in my collection at the moment. Give it a couple weeks, and that will change. For synergies, I have Workhorse, Spark, Distributor, Fly the Zone, Protector, Bombarded, Magician, Thief, Light the Lamp, Gladiator, and Buzzing. Sorry, Well-Rounded. I couldn't I couldn't fit you in. But the rest of the team is, yeah, I mean, I don't think Well-Rounded is really that necessary when everyone else has all their synergies active. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm very happy with my team. I ended up going 11-2 in champs this week with this squad, and I'm going to try again next week and see how we do, but 11-2, I, I just don't I don't feel the need to play past 11 wins. Odds are I'm not going to get 15, and it's not really worth the, the extra stress to play those extra games. So, realistically... Do I see myself winning more than 11 games? No. Do I see myself having fun with this team? Definitely. Now, like I said, guys, I have a couple Team of the Season choice packs to show you here. Nothing crazy, but I will go ahead and show you. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for hanging out with me. And I will be back tomorrow on Twitch, actually. I'll be doing a live stream opening up all my free-to-play packs. So my free-to-play account on PS4, I'm going to have Rivals, Champs, some objectives have been completed, and I completed some sets. We're going to have a massive pack opening at 5 o'clock Eastern tomorrow on Twitch. The link is in the description if you want to come stop by. Regardless, let me know what you think of my team down below. I would really appreciate it, and let me know uh, how much you hate me for having a team like this. I'm definitely a pay-to-win kind of guy on this account, but I think my free-to-play account looks pretty good too, so I don't think you can really judge me as a person for spending a lot of money it makes sense for me to spend money as a content creator and have the god squad but i also have a free to play team who does just as well in champs i want to throw that out there regardless thanks for watching guys stay frosty